All right, guys, it's feeding day, but not just that, it's a special feeding day. I got a notification about an hour ago that my package was here. The package included this. Now, most people don't recognize this, but it is from a challenge, a Petco from the Dark Den issued. Uh, it's a hot sauce challenge, and basically it's simple. You pick uh, 10 tarantulas at random, they refuse to eat you have to eat eat the hot sauce you have to eat the hot sauce yes um i'm copying off of him but he kind of copied off of other people and he didn't mention that in his video this has been a challenge that's been going around for a while just the actual hot sauce challenge for people not for anything tarantula related um just like they did with the world's hottest chip and stuff like that it's been floating around for a while so he got creative and made that idea from it and i respect him for it it's a good idea it adds entertainment i myself love a challenge so i'm going to do it but i'd also like to start this video off by saying i am not a good youtuber i am not even trying to be a youtuber i'm doing this because a i like a challenge and i think i'm gonna find entertainment from it and b if anyone sees this they're probably gonna find entertainment from it because i guarantee at least one that just molded is gonna give me a, a hard time anyway um I decided I'm going to feed a shelf instead, so I think that's roughly 18 of them, 16 something in there. Uh, so hopefully most of them are good eaters. I don't foresee me having a lot of this hot sauce, but I at least see one drop coming at least. So if you guys like it, cool, uh, share the video. I don't care about likes or subscribes, I'm just doing this for entertainment purposes. I do not wish to be a famous pet tuber by any means. I got a life and kids. If you do like it though, share it with others. I'm sure they're gonna enjoy my pain just as you are if you're watching this because I guarantee at least one's gonna reject it. Probably not even gonna offer it to be honest because it's, it's really freshly molded. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. All right guys, I took another look at my shelf and I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this horribly due to the one that just molted and I think both the uh, pokey slings I have are in pre-molt. Most of these are going to be slings, so they're going to be hard to get uh, actual footage of them as it is. And if I don't, of course, I'm going to take the hot sauce. I'm not too sure how many we got here, but I know there should be at least 10. Um, so we're going to start with the GBB. This guy molded last week, uh, a little bit before feeding day, so it skipped the feeding day. Oh yes, thank God. So I figured this one would be hungry. It's definitely hardened up by now. It's been at least 10 days since it's molt and it's a sling. So thank you, thank you. I need to put this back on though. Next we have a very tiny Bialbo sling. It's from uh, my uh, egg sac from Mama Shirley, which we're gonna be feeding in this video also. You see that? Yeah, you guys saw that. Thank God again. Whew. I told you I got some good eaters, but I know I'm going to at least be doing it a couple times. Just wait for the pain. I will videotape my reactions. All right, next we have a very tiny P. regalis. Um, this guy's always down in here. Uh, there's a little web curtain at the bottom of the bark. Uh, always hard to get on camera, so this one might be the one. I'm hoping not. course you see it with the roach just took it away all right I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get it on camera but I just seen it you guys saw him pull that roach away after I pulled the light on him they don't like light so yeah that was a lucky lucky little roach butt I was able to catch on camera <laughs> but uh he is eating it his legs down there he's eating it all right guys I decided to pick one that I thought might not eat uh, since we were going so smooth this guy has a big old butt and it's dark um, pretty sure it's on pre molt these guys pre molt last a long time we're gonna see however if we can get it to come out
it is right in the corner right there about an inch from them come on I knew you'd do this come on It is right behind you, dude. At least do something. All right, guys. I'm probably going to give up considering its antenna is literally tickling its butt right now. And it is not even phased. All right. Just an update. I did get that giant roach out. Uh just because I don't want him to get hurt. But this is the first time it's been out in the light and I think it's probably because I messed up its web just a little bit to open the door to get it. But hey, at least we get to see a pokey before we see my face in pain. Uh, next clip will show that. Just to show, there is no folly here. Still got the plastic cap on it. That's my uh, chip of choice, so that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, to all the people out there using chicken, uh, I'm gonna call you out. That's a that's the easy way out. We all know meat absorbs heat, but uh, pain incoming. Woo! I definitely shouldn't have done that. I did like Peter Webster did and smelled it. Woo! Now I'm scared. All right, because I don't have an actual camera and no one's helped me. This clip is me putting the sauce on. And I'll do another clip of me being dumb enough to put this in my mouth. Oh, that was a big, big drop. Oh, lordy. That is so much bigger than everyone else's. Uh, well, I can't take it off now. I don't think I'm ready. I really don't. Uh, but uh, there's the chip with the sauce on it. Oh God. Woo. And they say it gets worse and it burns down your throat. And this is the this is the initial taste. Woo. I like spicy stuff, guys. But let me tell you. Hmm. Oh my lord got a real uh smoky habanero i don't even know how to explain it but ooh, the heat and yeah they're right it definitely gets worse Whew. i want to record my whole reaction and all that but i got a lot more teas to feed oh, maybe just a few more seconds of pain oh i don't recommend getting it under the the underside of your tongue because right now that's where it's burning the worst yeah you got that drip and burn in the back of your throat but lord <laughs> oh i'm gonna start sweating it yep all right i need about 90 seconds to get prepared for the next one because i want to be able to put my attention on the tarantula so let me uh breathe i am doing this without uh milk because i feel like that's also cheating but yeah, that's just me. Either way, I am going to call out everyone, especially in uh, Tarantula Keepers of Ohio. If you got any teas, if you've got one, if it refuses, do the hot sauce. If you don't have this exact hot sauce, get the hottest hot sauce you can do. Whew. Watering up. Anyway, next tea coming. Oh, God. So it's been about, I don't know, three to five minutes. My mouth, uh, my tongue is still on fire, but I feel uh, focused enough to be able to do this without losing track of anything. So I'm going to. Uh, next up, we have uh, what was sold to me as a P Cascada or P Cascade. Um, but after further research and its development, I believe it's P Machala. Please let me know if you have any idea which one it is they all look very similar i know 
So it's always a good eater. It eats up until the day before it molted every time. So hoping I don't have to do this again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And might as well. Yeah. Uh, double or nothing next time, right? <laughs> All right. So you guys can get a better look at her. She uh, has very obvious purple highlights that match kind of what's on the carapace, but the camera doesn't do justice. So please let me know if you know what she is. All right. It's been about eight minutes and the heat's starting to go away. Next up, uh, we have the Cantuscaria geniticulata and the Brazilian white knee. Um, this one's also freshly molded. It molded at the same time as my GBB who ferociously took down a roach. So I'm hoping this one does the same. Oh, no, you don't. You're going to eat this roach and you're going to love it. Well, you attacked it, so you're obviously hungry. All right, guys, one sec. I'm grabbing another bigger roach. I didn't realize she got this big. Um, oh, nope, there's, there's the roach. No. 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 I'm gonna go grab a bigger roach and if she doesn't take it, I will take the hot sauce. And I didn't realize she got that big. All right, bigger roach. Um, I got her out of the burrow, so hopefully we can get a better chance. Well, this roach might be too big. Either way, I think I'm going to have to do the hot sauce. You molded eight days ago, 10 days ago, why? All right, guys, ain't no sense of beating a dead horse. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be doing the hot sauce a lot more than I thought. Please don't accidentally pour too much again. Mm, my hands are shaking. Handling the spider's fine. This, I'm shaking. Yep, another big drop. Whatever. So, I wasn't expecting that, considering uh, she molded almost two weeks ago, it seems like. Like, it was a couple days after the GB. It's probably been at least eight to ten days. And it's a tiny sling. It's definitely hardened up by now. But that's the name of the game. So I'm going to have to do the hot sauce. I'm still, like, barely almost over the first chip, so. Mm. I decided to make a chip sandwich this time to hopefully dilute the hot sauce. But I can tell you already that that, that didn't help whatsoever, so. I'll, uh, oh my god. <sighs> Anyone want an AJ? <laughs> oh, just kidding. Oh. That one definitely went down smoother down the throat. But then again, the throat hit me late last time, too. I do have a drink, by the way. It's just not milk. And let me tell you, on the last ship, this made it worse, so I'm not even going to drink it this time. <sighs> I'm sweating. <sighs> Starting to under my eyes. All right. I know I got to at least do that one or two more times, so let's get into it. All right. I got a couple coming up that are going to be hard to get on camera. Awesome. And then I have ones that, one that I know I'm not going to feed and one that I think is supreme, <sighs> but... Its legs are right by my finger on the back side right there. I'm going to try to get it to come out. 
this one is an OBT sling, obviously. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it to eat because this bad boy was just rehoused yesterday. I normally don't do this, but I was expecting the hot sauce to wait till Monday. Um, come on. Get you? No. You're literally walking right over top of them. I think. All right, guys. I'm gonna try to get this roach into a better position with more than one hand. Maybe this might be it. If uh, I get him eating it, I will. Uh, Obviously, get somewhat on camera if I can. I think this is another no-go. All right, so my overshirt came off. And I'm still sweating a little bit from that second chip, and I'm on my third chip. Uh, there's the chip. Uh, so far, my reaction to the sauce is I think the first one is the worst because you don't expect it to be that bad. It's not really that bad. It's just... Worse than I was expecting. I know you guys are like, shut up and eat the chip. We want to see your pain. Oh, it's amazing how uh, strong it comes off off the bat. And that's not even the worst of it. Like you expect it to creep up there. And it does creep to its worst point. But right off the rip, man, it's like... I put a lighter under my tongue, <laughs> like I'm not kidding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the next one. A lot of talking, a lot of trying to get them to eat is making this video long and I got a lot more to go. AC Monty, uh, this one's sometimes gets scared because I end up most of the time just having to drop it on its head and they get scared and then I have to dig this guy out of the dirt. We're gonna see what happens. I forgot I actually fed this one uh, one of these a day or two ago, so it might not even uh, take interest in it. Ugh, awesome. One more time for good measure. Yep, that's a negative. Good news is I think I'm getting used to this hot sauce. I might have to put a bigger drop this time. All right, guys, I got to looking. I only got, I think, two or three more after this. I'm going to put a lot on this one. Oh, Lord. That is like a thick, thick pool of regret right there. That is what that is. Normally they're good eaters, but, uh, of course, the time I got the uh, hot sauce, not so much. And this is, I, I regret this big drop, but I'm, I'm doing it for your guys' sake. Enjoy it. Okay, so this one feels like the first one. So maybe I'm not getting used to it. I'm just going to have to do that each time. Oh, like I'm swallowing. I'm like draining in the back of my throat from all the spices. And I'm swallowing that. And it's just like, like battery acid going down my throat, man. All right. Get a couple seconds of me regretting life decisions before moving on to the next spider. Oh yeah, that one's getting me to sweat in the face now. Whew. Yeah, so if you want to actually get a good reaction if you're going to be ballsy enough to do this, um, I wouldn't say put a lot on there, but don't be a pansy. Otherwise, you're not going to truly get an entertaining reaction like this. Uh, and I'm going to regret this too. Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, so 
like they said, water and other things besides milk just make it worse. That is true. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can feel it. Alright, you guys are done looking at my ugly face and crying, right? I got one, two, three, and one's I think in primo. Alright, anyone else find themselves pacing when their uh, mouth's on fire? No, just me? Alright. So when I'm already on fire, I'm about to do another chip. There is a tiny molt right by that sphagnum right there. That is a tiny molt. And uh, there's a freshly molted pecan biggie. Oh, of course you went it back inside. But pecan biggie freshly molded. Oh, yeah, you can see the sweat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> drainage in the back of the throat that tastes like lava anyway uh not even gonna let it calm down a little bit <laughs> i like hot food guys i really do it's this uh it's a very strong habanero i will say that which is a little bit much for enjoyment got a good smoky taste to it though but the smokiness i feel like adds to the heat because that's what i'm i don't know i don't know this is what i feel so a couple seconds of me uh regretting decisions oh. Oh. <coughs> all right uh got one adult B. Albo, who I told you would be in here, Mama Shirley, and then uh, another suspected uh, pre molt pokey that I gotta do. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Uh, this one will be P or not a next. Probably doing another hot sauce because, hey, this one is the one I suspected in pre molt. It has closed off the entirety of its back wall, which it didn't have before. And it had this closed off, and it's in there. But I'm going to try and get it to come out. Oh, thank God. Please be able to see it. Come on, I need to see the roach. Anyway, just as I hit stop record, guys, I don't know if you saw it. I'm going to go back and look at the film. But the roach decided to run around like you saw, and it got caught on this wall. And he came out of his little hole that he was in. Oh, happy dance. Come on. Sorry for the long clips, guys. Come on. Maybe I should have used a bigger roach. But I definitely thought this guy was... In oh, you can see it in the mouth right there. Right there. It's, it's uh, I forget what it's called. The part that connects to the fangs. But you can see it right there in its mouth. Well, I was like... That's bad news and good news. I was hoping it was in pre-molt. And judging by my notes, it should have been. Especially after refusing food last time, but... Alright, guys. What a beautiful, beautiful P. Ornata, though. Uh, I don't know if anyone can see the, the patterns. If you are able to give me a guess of the sex while we're here, that's cool. But, uh... If not, happy keeping, y'all. I got one more to go. Oh, you're so pretty. There's the roach again. So, next one. I threw another one in there hoping... I was pouring water in and act like it was hungry. I don't know if it sees it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, if the first clip wasn't enough proof with it in its mouth, obviously. There's a second roach for it. 
Oh, you deceiving, deceiving boy. I thought you were in primo. Um, I know there is a lot of vertical height in this enclosure. Oh, come on. I don't want to handle right now. Surely. Can we not? Anyway, I know there's a lot of vertical height in this enclosure, but uh, I've constantly been battling mold with her and keep forgetting to add more substrate each time. So if she does want to come out, we might be able to get a video of her coming out, guys. If not, I'm probably going to cut this and try to get her back in for food. I prefer you ate before you walked on my hand. Especially with me shaking from all the caffeine. Alright guys. She does this sometimes. People claim they do it. And most people don't believe them. But she usually will walk right out of my hand if she wants out. Yes, she just wants out and not on my hand. But I'd rather her be on my hand and contained than uh, wandering around my house where I have kids. So I'm going to gently nudge her back in and get her set up. To eat this giant roach I have for her. Surely. Alright guys, I want to show you something. There was a big debate in another thread. When they raise their front legs just a little bit and not their petty palps, like this, see how her petty palps are down? That means it's a warning stance. If they raise their petty palps and expose their fangs, well, they don't even have to expose their fangs, if they raise their petty palps and their front legs, that is a threat posture. This is warning me that, she's just warning me that she doesn't really want to be held right now. So I'm gonna move my hand, but this isn't a full threat posture. Like I could still push her out of my hand if I wanted to, I will not. Not needed, feeding is needed today. I just want to clear that up because most people don't seem to know that and if they think, oh no, your hand's right next to a threat posture T, you're gonna die. No, um, She's just not sure what she wants to do right now. She is showing signs that she is stressed by this, so I am going to move. But she is not threatening and ready to attack. I mean, my god, it's a curly hair. Alright, I nudged her back in and asked thanks for, uh, you know, being nice and about ready to feed her. She decided to kick hairs at me. But she will be getting her enclosure fixed. She doesn't really climb a lot. But... Too much vertical room is just not needed. All right, she usually never lets me down, but um, thinking this might be the time. And I do apologize for my language. If I can figure out how to edit the words out, I will. when your tongues are too long to get in the door. Giggity. Alright. I'm gonna get another one and try to drop it next to her. If she don't eat, I will do hot sauce. But usually she eats. Anyway, that's what a true Nicaraguan Diablo looks like. They're just stunning, even though they're basic. I don't know how long this video is, guys, so I do apologize. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't really care about... Uh, editing so it's probably gonna be a hefty one but come on come on yeah thank goodness why'd you ignore the first one well if you don't find that roach in about 20 minutes i'll take it out but would you stop doing this too i know you like your home, don't you? All right, guys. Sorry, guys. I happened to notice uh, a roach getting brave. Do you not like that one? Is that why you... Oh, yeah. All right. All right, guys. I guess that's it. So there you have it. Uh, somebody who's not really a famous YouTuber, don't care to be, just doing it for entertainment. I hope you guys found some entertainment for my pain. Either way, I enjoyed the challenge. I really did. Um, I had ones eat that I didn't think was going to eat. Like my Ornata, my Pure Ornata. 
Uh, also, if you know this, how to sex from the patterns, uh, that every time I, I'm leaning towards female, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, not a famous YouTuber. Don't do this for any other reason besides my entertainment and maybe yours if you like it. If you did find any entertainment from it, please, not even please, share it with your friends. Show somebody, get a laugh out of them. Um, anyway, happy keeping.